All right, dear audience, here we are. This is the next episode of Load Zone with a competition between OPNL and Yovlang. Yovlang having the green truck, OPNL having the red one. Now, if you look very carefully, you might notice an editing mistake just about now. Start. And off they go. Rules are the same as the last time. Grab yourself a trailer, roll the dice to see which pellets or containers to pick. First one to grab four containers and or pellets and get to the exit. Just as before, some very careful maneuvering will be required. To make it easier on our audience, we have cut out a couple of the boring bits. OPNL has a steering trailer. For reasons that are unclear to us, he will not be using the steering system at this very moment. Possible container colors are red, yellow, and blue. There's a couple of containers with different colors. We will be ignoring those for the moment. If you're wondering what the audio gets her for, some people were talking Dutch during the recording. In order to spare our audience, we've cut those parts out. There's dice roll coming up for OPNL. That's blue. Activating the forklift. Praying that the app picks up the signal. And it works. Yoflam close behind, getting docked. Once again, once you're docked, you can activate the forklift. Up in L, busy working on the first pallet. He attached rubber parts to the force to get more grip. Personally, I'm not convinced, but he might be onto something. Once again, it's important to drive very carefully. You don't want to drop your load. The ramp you see has been equipped with grill tiles to get just a little bit more friction and your flame is on in the race. Yellow. Attaching the trailer and docking has cost him valuable time, so he's gonna kind of have to work double hard to make up for this. For the viewers who are new here, I'd like to remind everyone that everything you see here has been improvised. As in, those are not existing LEGO sets. Everything has been engineered from scratch. It's all 100% LEGO. And everything here is strictly DIY. It seems only fitting that the first two loads on deliveries involve balls. Please watch your own punchline. And... Down he goes. For those concerned, the scoring system is very complicated and best described as making shit up as we go along. Will there be penalties for falling over? Will there be penalties for dropping a load? Who knows? Who cares? Yovlam having a very smooth run on the ramp over here. In the background, you can just make out OPNL. His dice roll told him he has to pick up a yellow pellet. In the meantime, please enjoy some Dutch mumbling in the background. These sparklers are marvels of miniaturization. While the previous ones were 13 studs wide, these were only 11. Somehow, this does not prevent them from falling off ramps or tumbling over. It seems like Yovlin wants to give us a proper demonstration, but he just about saves it. Apparently he wants to attempt to drive off the ramp forwards, but as for us, is the way to go here. A very smooth exit. <laughs> Apiano finally grabbing hold of his second pallet. 
he has lost valuable time maneuvering. We'll just have to see if this catches up with them. Anyway, off he goes. In the meantime, Jofflin is due another dice roll. Yellow. Jofflin would like everyone to know that his forklift design is available for free on Rebrickable. Just look for his alias, J-O-V-L-E-M. Obviously, there will be a link in the description. Obviously, maneuvering room has been kept very tight for optimum annoyance. This competition comes down to maneuvering and control. Apianel's advantage has completely disappeared. This is anyone's game. Speed and power is nothing without control. As Apiano conveniently demonstrates. Not wanting to be left out, Jovlen also prepares a fine demonstration. Since falling off does not constitute a proper exit, a reposition is in order. It seems like the close competition is making people a bit nervous. Now, for all the pedants in the room, please write an angry comment how the Ferrari does not scale properly to any of the other models. From Ferraris to dice rolls, red. As an added challenge, the drum is not attached to the pallet. That's gonna be fun. Audience, do you remember the rubber grip pieces that Apianel has on his forks? Yeah, if Lum wishes he had those. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your wheel. Good save though. Yoflum still trying to fix the situation. Nope. This segment of the show has been sponsored by Hazard Striping Tiles. Apianel is running out of room in his trailer, but he has devised a clever solution. Nothing to it. In order to maintain this advantage, he has to make it off the ramp quickly. Excellent. Yelflem finally having grabbed a drum, it's time for another dice roll. Red. Another unsecured load. What would Osha say? Yelflem dropping off his third pallet, while Apianel is finally grabbing his fourth. Easy does it. One very important rule, loaded forklifts have right away. Bummer for Jovlen. And now, a very dumb joke for a very limited audience. Schwalbe. And while Apianel is getting things back on track, Jovlem really needs to hurry for that last power. One dice roll coming up. Red. Very convenient. No reason to lift the forks. Maybe he can make this work. Once again, Apianel employs his secret technique. Sudden uncontrolled burst forward. Once again, it's amazing how close this competition is. 
<laughs> well, was. Then again, I'll load it for a lift has right of way. So I'll be in the stuck here for now. Now all Abiano has to do is not screw up. As soon as his forklift is parked, he can leave. Due to the angle of the dock, putting that last pellet down is not easy and Jovlem is not having a great time. Someone who is also not having a great time is Abiano. He has parked his forklift, so technically he could leave. But the technique itself is not letting him. Repairs are in order. After a quick repair job, by which we mean everyone has had lunch, time to continue. And after one last jab, which I'm sure is not intentional, only one obstacle remains. The door. <laughs> A fine exit. Jovlem makes his way to the exit as well, with the advantage that all the loads he has are still on their pelts. Oh, barely. So, please debate amongst yourselves in the comments who was the winner here. Please include a very detailed description of all the falls, dropped cargo, anything else that might be important. Let us know. On to the bonus footage. Barman has provided a demonstration model of the technique we used to couple the trailers, originally designed by Arsman064. Apinel has made a very complicated version of this coupling to steer the rear wheels of his trailer. Something which he completely neglected to use in the competition. And Barman showing off a thing he built. It works. And if you're still watching after 14 minutes, we admire your dedication. <laughs>